Hi everyone. This is the Ecosystem Restoration Camp's March 2020 update. So as we all know, March has been a crazy month for a lot of people around the world because of the corona virus lockdown that's happening in a lot of countries. So we had camps planned that we've had to postpone because of travel restrictions. Uh, the team were meant to be going to our new camp in France to have our first ever team meeting in person, which I was really looking forward to. That's meant to have been happening this weekend, but obviously we couldn't go, so we have rearranged it for September or October. Fingers crossed we'll be able to go by then. But even though our camps have been postponed, there's still a lot happening. We have been doing a lot of background work to make sure that when we can reopen our camps we're in a better and stronger position. So some of the things we've been working on are bringing the camp coordinators together so that they can work more closely with each other, share information about the techniques that they're using at their camps, what's working well, what's not working well, what could be improved. Uh, because we want to design a knowledge sharing platform of some sort so we want to ask them what their thoughts are. We had the first camp coordinator call in March and it was so wonderful and inspiring to see so many people around the world uh, restoring ecosystems and I think that they also found it very inspiring to see other people like them in different countries so I'm excited about where that's going to go. We now have a number of camps in, in the US, mainly in California. California is uh, now an ecosystem restoration hub. So there's a local team of people who are managing the camp growth in California. And then there's also one in Oregon. And we're, we're talking to somebody who wants to start a camp in uh, the Appalachian Mountains. So lots going on there. We have also welcomed back Jan Hein who was one of our directors who was on a, a long sabbatical with his family showing his young children the wonders of the world and he's come back now so he's working with us again which is really nice to have him back. He's going to be working on fundraising, he's got a lot of uh, contacts with people in the fundraising world and he's also going to be picking up his duties of managing our finances so as our financial director we launched our online course which is really exciting seeing as it's something that i've been working on personally for the last year and a half so i it felt like dropping off a child at school um kind of letting it go and i'm pleased to say that people have been signing up which is amazing if you're interested in our online course it is a six month long course where you learn from 18 practitioners in the field of ecosystem restoration that have been restoring natural zones, agricultural zones, urban zones, and then you look at business models for ecosystem restoration. And on the final module, you pick an ecosystem close to your heart and you can create a restoration plan and business plan for how you're going to restore that piece of land. So that's also really, really exciting. And uh, there'll be a link at the bottom of this video for you to read more about that. We've also been working on adding to our monitoring and evaluation framework ways that camps can capture what they're doing using satellite technology and drones. So things like using GPS to mark out uh, land that's being restored and using drone imagery to take before and after photos and even measuring creating drone maps so that's going to be good once that data starts coming in john lou is in malibu california not a bad place to be quarantined and he's been working with a recording studio there to create a live 